What's up, Jogi? What are heirloom shards and heirlooms and how to get them? To be honest, uh, I don't know. I just baited you to the video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, heirloom shards are a currency with which you buy heirlooms. How to get heirloom shards? You get heirloom shards by opening Apex packs. You will get guaranteed heirloom shards in one of 500 Apex packs. If you get the heirloom shards in a pack, you will always get 150 of them. Not more, not less. You only need to get the heirloom shards once to claim an heirloom with them. If you have all of the heirlooms, you cannot get heirloom shards anymore. You need to wait for the new heirlooms to be introduced into the heirloom store and then you have a possibility to get heirloom shards again. You can get heirloom shards by opening the first few apex packs if you are super lucky or you can be like me with 2000 hours in Apex with 400 and plus Apex packs opened but without any heirloom shards or heirlooms. Yes, I cry a lot every day. Oh, and you should subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll get guaranteed heirloom shards. Maybe I'm lying. Now when you know what heirloom shards are, what are heirlooms? Heirlooms are cosmetic items that are being placed on your melee position. Usually you have your hands when you select your melee. But if you have some of these heirlooms that are in the heirloom stores, you will have them when you select your melee. The heirlooms do not deal any additional damage if you have them. Melee damage is the same for every level legend if they don't have some ability tied to their melee. There are two ways to get an heirloom. First one is to unlock it with heirloom shards as I stated earlier. The second way to unlock heirlooms is when a collection event is present and you get all of the collection event items. Uh, let me explain. Collection events are the first events that come in a new season. They come with a totally new heirloom that didn't exist earlier. You can only get that totally new heirloom by getting all of the items from the event. No other heirloom, just the new one. Collection events are having 24 totally new cosmetics tied to the event. You can get the new cosmetics by opening event packs where you can get one guaranteed event item in a pack while the other two items are non-event items. You can also also get the event cosmetics by directly buying them for apex coins or crafting metals. When you unlock all of the event exclusive items, you can unlock the new heirloom for free. Yeah, it's not free, but they say it is. When the collection event ends, the newly presented heirloom is being rotated to the heirloom store, where you can buy it with heirloom shards if you didn't buy all of the cosmetics and claimed it for free. So, if you don't have money for the heirloom, but you have heirloom shards, just wait for the new heirloom to be rotated to the heirloom store and unlock it with shards, if you get any. Yes, as I stated, I cry a lot every day. And that's it, a simple and easy explanation about heirlooms and heirloom shards. This video is being based on the latest Apex Legends update that went live by the date of this video. If they release any new updates regarding heirloom shards or heirlooms, I will make a video about it. That's it, a like, share, comment, subscribe, you know the procedures. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.